Okay, in this video I'm going to try to explain how to use the geometric series formula uh, to represent a, an installment savings plan in financial maths. So this is a typical type question you might see. So how about this one then? You save 50 euros every month for three years at a 0.5% effective monthly rate. And how much will you have in the end, basically, at the end of those three years? So I mean... If you were just putting 50 euros into an account with no interest rate for 36 months, uh, we multiply 50 by 36, we get 1800. So we know our answer should be a little bit bigger than that because of interest being added. Now, a couple of things that normally you might see for a leaving cert question would be they might give you the yearly rate. And of course, you might need to change the yearly rate to an effective monthly rate. And there's a video uh, I've done previously that will explain that. So another thing we want to make sure in the financial maths we also make sure our time frame matches our interest rate time frame and here it doesn't so we have a monthly interest rate therefore we need to do time in months so we need to make change this guy out to be uh, 36 months that's one change we need to think about first okay now what's going to actually happen here and where does the geometric series come in well you start off and you put in your first amount of money which is 50 euros it earns interest the whole way because it's the very first little packet of money put in there. How long is that going to be in there for? Well, that's going to be in there if it goes in at the start for the whole 36 months. So your first payment goes in there for 36 months. Okay, so if we just thought about this one, we could say that we can use a simple compound interest formula for that. That's the standard, if you like, financial maths formula, which is this. F is equal to P1 plus I to the T. So we can use this for every single little packet of money that goes in. So for the first payment, what's that going to have a final value of? Just that's on its own little journey. So it's going to have a final value of the 50, which is the starting amount, 1 plus the interest rate. Now, be careful here. A 0.5% interest rate equates to 0 0.005 in decimal so you need to be super careful you don't put in 0 0.5 here 0.5 percent 0 0.005 divided by 100 if you like that will always do it for you so um let's put 0 0.005 in here so how long is that first installment going to be in there for well that's going to be in there for the whole 36 months Okay, so simplified, it would look like 50, 1.005 for 36 months. Now, the next payment, 50 euro goes in. How long is that going to be in there? Well, it's going to be in there for quite a while, but not quite as long as the first payment. It's going to be in there for 35 months. Okay, that means it will have a final value of the, its starting amount of 50 one plus the same interest rate. Like the only thing that changes, it's not going to be in there for 36 months, it's going to be in there for 35 months. So you should see that when we do all these installments, they're all going to be in there for slightly less each time, right? So as we go on, we're going to get a load of numbers like this. Now, given the time, of course, you could just do all of these. And when you do all these, yeah, you will get an answer, but of course, not the most efficient way to do it. We have a, a nice formula for the most efficient way. So how will that work? Well, hopefully you may see now that our final amount is going to be this plus this plus this, so on, so on, till we get to the very last one, which is the last payment that goes in at the start of the last month. It's only in there for one month. So effectively we have something like this. Our total is going to be equal to the first payment on its own little journey. 0, 0, 0.005 uh, for 36. And the next payment, which is 50 by 1.005 0, 0, 35, all the way to the last payment, which is going to be a 50, 1.005 0, 0, for one month. Now, we need to spot the sequence here. But of course, uh, addition is commutative, so it means that it doesn't matter which way we write it, like 4 plus 2 is the same as 2 plus 4, so why do I say that? Well, not stopping us from writing this term first, and then 
the pain think of the payments in there just before that it's in there for two months so i can actually rewrite this and, and the only reason i do that is just to make it a little bit easier to see the geometric series so i'm going to write this one first so i'm, I'm changing absolutely nothing just to accept the order in which i write them and the next one zero zero five to the two all the way to the first payment so i'm effectively writing it backwards if you like and you will see why i would do this okay so i have all these 36 payments all are an interest for a different amount of time now what i would like you to see here is this the very first term here and the second term are separated by what well the next term is effectively this term with another 1.005 tagged on because look that's 50 times 1.005 squared so that's like 50 by point by 1.005 and 1.005 again the next one's going to be cubed it's going to be another one of these so what i want you to see is the first term is only different you get a ratio of 1.005 or we multiply this term by 1.005 to get to the next term. We multiply this term by 1.005 to get to the next term. So what we have is we have a ratio here, not a common difference, a ratio of 1.005. It'd be wrong to always say that my ratio is always going to be this. And I know a lot of the questions do look like this, but it's better to understand why your ratio is like that. What's our first term here? Well, our first term is A is 50 times uh, 1.005 and you can simplify that if you want so you can just actually multiply that so our first term is 50.25 so since we have a ratio which is constant throughout all the terms and we know our first term and we know all the terms we can employ the geometric series formula which is a 1 minus r to the n over 1 minus r. So for this, all you need is a first term and a ratio and how many terms you have. So we know we have 36 terms. We know our first term. We know our ratio, so we can change all this. So n for us is going to be 36 because it's 36 times we're lodging it. So we're going to have an s of 36 equals to a. So that's 50. 0.25 multiplied by 1 minus the ratio 1.005 to the n which is 36 all over 1 minus that ratio so I'll put all this into my calculator and I'll get 50.25 bracket 1 minus 1.005 to the 36 close the bracket all over 1 minus 1.005 and it gives me a grand total of 1976.64 remember two decimal places for money and that's it so that is how a geometric series fits into a simple installment plan the next example i'll do is maybe how to change and how to get how much you'd have to lodge what would this p need to be for each term to make it equal to some set amount you want to have at the end but for now this is just a simple introduction it should get you over the hump